Meteorologist Daniel Graves is in the weather system, in the weather system. <laughs> Weather Center uh, with an update on Barry, Daniel. Yeah, and as we're seeing these rain bands continuing to move in, it is bringing a lot of rainfall over Lafouche Parish right now. Uh, so I did want to talk about an aerial flood advisory that's in effect. So let's take it full and show you satellite and radar, and you can see the yellows and reds across Lafouche Parish. I did mention this a little bit earlier that we've been seeing kind of that rain lingering over the same area. So all the areas that are highlighted in green, that is the aerial flood advisory and what that basically means is you've seen about one to two inches of rainfall and you could see an additional amount of that um, with this rain as it's kind of lingering over the area. And so what that means is it could have result in some urban and small stream flooding. So those poor drainage areas could see some minor flooding uh, in this area. Uh, and so that does include the La Rose area cut off Galliano to Lockport, Golden Meadow, Matthews, Leeville, Raceland, and DeSolomons. Of course, that is from the National Weather Service. And so this is the rain, and we've been kind of seeing it lingering over the area for uh, the past hour. And so that has dropped some heavier rainfall. And so these are the rain bands we're talking about that could lead to some flooding. And right now it's set up over Lafouche Parish as it's moving off toward the northwest. So you're going to see some heavy downpours. You're going to have some gusty winds with this 30 to 40 miles per hour. And just off the coast, you can see near Grand Isle, it's pushed a little bit further toward the east. You're getting in on some of that heavy rainfall and gusty winds right now. Widening the view some, you can see not too much happening still across the North Shore and coastal Mississippi. But you've got a little more rain that's starting to form here right near the mouth of the Mississippi River. And all that is going to rotate around Tropical Storm Barry, which is still just sitting off the coast and is moving pretty slowly toward the west northwest. And I mentioned the winds right now. It's down, though, to Galley out at 12 miles per hour. It's picked up a bit over toward Homa at 30 miles per hour, 26 at the lakefront and 31 over toward Kenner. And we're seeing some gusts south of the lake, 22 to 40 miles per hour, up to 33 for you in Gulfport. Again, the latest with Tropical Storm Barry, it's moving pretty slow and that is not going to be good news once it moves on shore because the slow movement coupled with some heavy rainfall and gusty winds that is going to make for some challenging conditions overnight and into Saturday morning where that landfall is expected sometime around 5 to say 7 a.m. It's moving pretty slow. It could be a little bit after that. As you see, it's slowly moving on shore uh, right there near the Atchafalaya Bay between 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. It's not moving too far, and so there will be some big concerns for flooding, especially closer toward the center, which the European model does take the heaviest rainfall right around that center. So it'd be just toward the west of us in the western parts of Terrebonne Parish, seeing some of that heavier rain through the morning and afternoon into the evening. It's still kind of situated over south central Louisiana before it finally slowly picks up toward the north. But we still have some of that heavy rainfall around southeast Louisiana and coastal Mississippi, and that will continue to be the story going into Sunday afternoon and evening and in, even into the early parts of next week, kind of the tail end of this, still keeping some of that heavier rainfall around. Now, if you're the American model and this is the solution that pans out, then we are going to see some greater impacts closer to southeast Louisiana because it does take the heavier rain right over Terrebonne and Lafouche parishes. And I want you to keep in mind that's the area that's seeing the heavy rainfall right now. So that's how those rainfall totals can really add up pretty quickly. And then the heavier rain spreads across Lake Pontchartrain into the North Shore, coastal Mississippi, west toward Baton Rouge and kind of lingers. It's still moving pretty slow. We're heading into Sunday and you're still seeing some of that heavy rainfall around. So again, while we are seeing some good news with the Mississippi River dropping its levels, we still have to be prepared for that potential for some heavy rainfall. Many areas are not seeing it right now, but that story can change as we go into Saturday and Sunday. So we just want you to stay prepared. Another model run we can show you the RPM model and it's showing it being a little slower as well. It will send some waves of rainfall across southeast Louisiana and coastal Mississippi overnight. Going throughout the day on Saturday, that slow spin will keep some heavy rainfall around our area throughout much of the day on Saturday and going into Sunday. So these models are trying to line up because as you notice, a lot of them keeping the heaviest rainfall across South Central Louisiana with some of those rain bands bringing that heavy rain across our area and then going into Sunday as well. It keeps some lingering rain and so over the period between tonight Going into Saturday and Sunday, some areas could see that 10 inches of rain, some higher isolated totals 15 to 20, especially 
further off toward the west, if that's where it tracks on shore, that's where we'll see those higher rainfall totals. The flash flood watch is still in effect through Sunday morning, though for all of southeast Louisiana and coastal Mississippi. Now I mentioned the river levels. It was forecast to get up to 19 feet earlier, but now the Mississippi River is actually falling slightly now through 7 a.m. on Saturday. It's expected to drop to 16 and a half feet. The flood stage is at 17 and notice we should get back up to that as we go into Sunday and Monday, and that's going to be as a result of the rainfall in our area just to the north that drains down to the mouth of the Mississippi River. That's going to help to elevate those river levels back to that minor flood stage. But of course, that's much better news than the moderate flood stage that was previously forecasted. But then for you on the North Shore and coastal Mississippi, again, we'll be monitoring those levels as moderate to major flood stage is still going to be possible because of the rainfall in the area. The Bogachita at Franklinton and Bush, that moderate flood stage. And if you're around the Chifuncta at Covington or Folsom, major flood stage and the Tangibaho River at Robert. So you will need to take those necessary precautions. If you are used to seeing flooding because of these areas, then you may want to move out until those river levels come down. So that's the latest with Tropical Storm Barry. And of course, we will be here with any more updates. Of course, again, that aerial flood advisory across Lafouche Parish is really bringing some heavy rain across the area near uh, Galliano. So you need to stay vigilant as we head through the night and as more of those rain bands continue to move in. Continue.